Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. Well, we just added a um, another China Quad to uh, my collection. This is a John Way, and I'll show you the tag. Um, 110cc automatic um, quad. Let's see if I can't show you guys the tag there. There you go. You guys can see John Way. Um, it was a $50 Craigslist deal. So, the story on it is uh, the person took it on trade for some mechanical work he does. I guess, I guess the guy is a bit of a mechanic. I got it in the condition you see minus the seat. It did not have a seat. I think if it had a seat, he might have um, kept it and done something with it. Uh, this one, remember I described China quads come in three different kinds. Cheap, very cheap, and almost decent. This one, I believe... Um, is more or less the same as this thing you know note this area here um, which would put it in the very cheap category right um, so there you go I picked it up because I on a bunch of these other projects I'm waiting for parts between starting solenoids and silicone pipes and um, tubes and everything else so I, I figured this would be a nice fill-in project um, what am I gonna do with it it depends on the kind of condition it's in whether it's it'll start or and run and move and all that kind of stuff or not um, many of you may ask well let's say it does all the above why uh what are you going to do with it um turns out this deal i hope leads to other deals um the person had some honda stuff that i'm after that i'm uh trying to uh get get him to commit sell to sell to me um so it leads to that type type of thing um one never knows once i get this thing running and so forth perhaps um i i could trade it for something that's that's interesting you know it just it just opens the window up for a few possibilities in the meantime for forty dollars given that all four tires hold air that um it appears to be more or less complete you know even came with the key fob this way I can unlock the doors. Oh, wait a minute. Um, obviously that's, uh, that's supposedly so that you could turn it off before your kid gets too far away from you and you have to fetch him from miles away or before your kid could get into too much trouble with this. So, um, once again, it's, it's just, just kind of a, a distraction until some parts come in and, uh, and so forth. From the looks of it though, um, right it's really not banged up too bad i mean some of the some of the uh i'm not quite sure what this coating is i think it's just paint yeah it looks like paint um some of that is off but generally speaking it's it's really um doesn't doesn't look like it, it was you know driven to distortion here right um when when kids run the heck out of them, you know, doing donuts and all, that's what the back tires look like. So it's I I think it I think it has the potential, excuse me, to start run and move. So um, there we go. Hopefully, I and and you know, there's other things you could do. Once I do get it to start run and move. I can theoretically oversize the carburetor and um, put an ignition system on it that's not rev limited so we could uh, we can you know drive this thing around you know see how fast it could go and <laughs> you, you know um, though the, 
the one time I got launched pretty good I was actually driving that one which is basically the same wheelbase and all as this guy it, it seems to be exactly the same quad to be quite honest um, and what what happened is I was uh, turning on the end of the driveway do you know doing the camera thing with one hand and driving with the other and uh, given the short wheelbase top heavy and uh, the thing started to to oscillate and I was you know with one hand I'm kind of trying to correct it and the next thing I knew it uh, it, it you know it basically um, as I was trying to correct it I must have overdid it and the steering went and I couldn't get it back again I don't know if my leg was in the way or whatever so I went this way and it it went that way um, I mean it didn't hurt it any uh, hurt me pretty good you know the old swan dive on the on the driveway so um, getting these things to go you know 40 miles per hour especially with somebody my size on it is uh, is a bit a bit dangerous if you guys want to see something funny though I mean nobody right under 16 uh, <laughs> First of all, what self-respecting 16-year-old, you know, unless this was on their way to something else, would be riding this thing other than, you know, at their cousin's house, perhaps, for, for a lark. Um, and more than that, what 16-year-old would really fit on that? Most 16-year-olds are, are, at the minimum, taller than I am. Um, and some of them, you, you know, the football-type guys are, are a lot bigger than I am, too. So... Uh, only 16 and above that's you, you know I guess most 16 year olds like their parents following behind them ready to turn off the motor to make them stop um, obviously that was put on for lawsuit purposes so I don't know it's known as a YY 110 ATV-10 it's a John way um, if you had to buy this new They'd probably deliver it at your house and drive away laughing and you would find a $600 charge on your credit card. So, let you look at its face. All right, you've been looking at that side a lot. Let's let you look at this side without my shadow in the way. And What is good about these is you can just pick them up and put them down. Um, the suspension does appear good. Well, <laughs> the front of the suspension is good. The back suspension is seized, obviously. I mean, I, I think there's a whole inch and a half of travel there. So, yeah, the back... I'm quite sure what's wrong with the, the back on this thing. It's seized. Alright, well, I want to thank everybody for watching and commenting and subscribing. Please remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and I want everybody to get out and enjoy all their days, especially on a nice day like this. Good time to go outside, let your body absorb some good vitamin D from the sun shining on you. Alright, take care now. Bye.